Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Senor Moko Lover, and right now, we're going to continue playing as a Russian SFSR. We're a pretty big country right now, but I'm examining the Baltic Socialist Republic at the moment. Pedro said yesterday, one of my subscribers, he said, you know what, if you really want to annex him a little faster, which I don't really care if I want to annex him faster or not, but I appreciate your comment regardless, Pedro. Uh, start some sort of lend -lease program. Well, I decided, you know what, okay, sure, why not? Um, I'm still making them more communist, so we can stop doing that. But I have expeditionary forces. Did they accept my lend -lease? Okay, I did that off screen, so. Um, maybe, maybe not. Alright then. Acceptance not required. Oh, maybe I already did it. Yeah, I think I already did it then. Maybe? Eh, regardless. Let's do... 2076. I'll give you some of this too. Uh... 1500 a month. And we, since we make a lot of guns a day, it says about 3100 guns a day. So, let's give them... Oh, I don't know. 20,000 guns. That sounds pretty nice. And we'll give you a bunch of motorized rocket artillery. In which I will give them, let's say... Hmm... How about 1800? That should be good enough for me to lower their autonomy and eventually annex them. Yeah, that should be good enough. Alright, cool. Anyways, let's continue on. Uh, let's see, who wants to rebel? Ah, Romania. You always like to rebel against me, ah, friends. Even though I'm still building up stuff in southern Bessarabia. Very cool. Awesome. And they accepted our lend -lease. Great. So last time, we invaded Brazil with an extra army. And right now, we're going to continue to push Brazil back and basically take them out. I have already decided to send some tanks, some tanky marines actually, over to Brazil so they can focus maybe on Uruguay and stuff like that. So that'll be very good. Very, very good. So, just want to make sure we don't kill our supply off. Alright. Oh! Another tank division. An actual tank division, which will go here. Cool. Actually, we only need one more tank division, which is awesome. Nice. Convoy sunk, convoy sunk, and then a convoy was sunk. I'm going to just go ahead and assume that our allies will invade these small islands, because I don't really care about the islands too much. Yeah, they're important to invade, but at this point, I don't really care. I just want to take the country's apart and away so that we can actually do pretty well here all right let our boys go ahead Ooh, more immigrants go ahead and get to where they need to be and in a few seconds i'm going to tell them to just go ahead and okay there you go do whatever you need to do it is 1951 everyone hope you're having a great year let's get a little bit more decryption and yeah do really well against the uh, brazilians and their american and canadian allies down here Oh, uh, let's see. Another convoy. Very good. Very good. Very, very, very good. The Netherlands. Okay, so they are... For a second there, I thought they weren't under us, but I guess they are. Awesome. Kind of weird. I have Belgium, but I didn't give the Netherlands... Or didn't, like, annex the Netherlands either. Ooh, two light cruisers. Uh, is someone doing some training... Uh, actually, no, that's subs. You guys, come down here. You guys merge together. We have two light cruisers, three destroyers. Do that. And I want you to keep training. That'll be good. We'll go ahead and repair first. Because I could use more naval XP, even though we probably won't use it a whole bunch. But whatever. Cool. Got our tanks down here. They'll fight better over the river, hopefully. Depending on what we gave them. Let's see. Over a marsh, we do get a little bit more attack and more movement. Over a desert, we get a little more movement. Over a fort, we get a little more attack and defense. Over a river, we do get quite a bit more attack and movement. Uh, only if we're fighting in mountains does our attack go down, as well as hills. And forests and jungles. Actually, that's not good to send them down to Brazil, but oh well. What's done is done. 1951. What can we do? Ah, more output, because why not? Great job, guys. Doing a great, fantastic job. I'm not sure if I said, told you to have an order yet. You're going to take out, take out Uruguay. Get yourself prepared, ready to go. Get yourself to the front line, as we are going to capitulate Brazil 
in this very episode. Just needs a little bit of time for us to do anything else. Also, uh, a while ago, a few episodes ago, someone told me to make my infantry into mechanized divisions. Well, I've already decided that I have already already made the template for mechanized infantry. So here we go. We have mechanized infantry, you know, all mechanized, and four motorized rocket artillery. I don't know if there's anything ever called mechanized artillery, but that'd be really cool if there was. But regardless, the division I want to make will have 76 hardness, over 1800 defense, 875.8 soft attack, really good hard attack, piercing isn't bad either, pretty reliable, I put maintenance companies on them instead of uh, truck drawn artillery, rocket artillery, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens with those once I decide to convert a few divisions. Hmm, you know what, actually before we do that I want to see something real quick. You guys aren't very good in mountains. Actually, they're still okay in mountains. In forests, they're really bad. In jungles, they're extraordinarily bad. Over attacking through a river, they're pretty bad. Urban is pretty good. Plains are pretty good. Forts. Deserts. But nothing about amphibious landings. Hmm. I could maybe take out these islands, actually, if I really wanted to with some of my guys here. You know what? Let's, do, let's try it. So you three... <clears throat> Oh, wait, your, your poles. Hmm. Yeah, how about you take you guys? So, take you three. And we're going to compare a couple things here. You're going to come here, and you're going to invade the Canaries, or whatever island this group is. I remember from EU4, but I don't remember what its name is right now. Uh, yeah. Take another three and invade over there. This isn't the Azores. This is Madeira. All right, cool. We'll try that. We'll see what happens. Oh, lost two planes. A couple subs. German subs are here, and they're sinking some British convoys or some American convoys or something. Great. Brazil will slowly fall. Slowly, slowly fall. Go ahead and tell you guys to go ahead. Can they pierce us? No, they can't. Oh, that's so good. Oh, we're actually doing shore bombardment, too. Nice. So, even if they're, if your ships are put on naval invasion support, if they're close enough to the shore, they the naval invasion support will actually help you against uh, enemies that are close to the ships. So, that's actually really cool. Obviously, they can't get all the way over here in Brazil, but whatever. Ooh. Oh, what happened over here, here first? Oh, no. We lost an allied sub. Alright, that's not bad. In exchange for a convoy, eh, I didn't lose it, so. Okay, so now, finally, it took us until 1951, but we can finally annex the Baltic Socialist Union. And, I'm actually going to core them as well, because they've had more than enough time to fully integrate into our country. So, let's go to mark that. Mark. Uh, I'm thinking Mamel as well. Yes. Uh, Kaunas. Count Kaunas. Yeah, Kaunas. Mark Vilno. Mark. Mark. And then Mark Core. Just because it's been, like, at least 10 years, probably, since they were under my control. So, I think after 10 years... Odds are, you're probably going to be part of our good old country here. I think that's pretty much everything. Awesome. Nice. Really cool. So, they got a bunch of extra divisions. I guess these are all of their divisions. Uh, what type of divisions they got? They got 40 widths. Ooh, quite a few 40 widths. I don't need all these divisions. Ooh, there's a tank division here. It's, oh my gosh, 14. Yeah, get rid of you. So, take you. Goodbye. You guys, what are we going to do with these guys? They have some motorizes that are pretty bad, 14 width. Um, I'm just going to use them for the manpower, kind of. I really don't need these divisions too much. Oh, there's another tank division. So we have 58 infantry divisions. Well, we have some mountaineers as well. They are 40 width. I love mountaineers, but I'm trying to get rid of my dependency on some of these divisions. I'll throw you over here just because you could use a few more. Uh, give me... Six. Throw you onto here, just so that we fill out the army groups. Give me another one, throw you over here. These are the tanks, so I don't need to throw you over there. I mean, these are marines, that are, that'll be fine. These are the checks and people like that. I honestly don't really need them, since they're not really navally invading me anymore, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to go throw you on the Coast Guard divisions immediately. You guys, I need... 
Oh, you have too many divisions. Whatever. Five divisions. There you go under there. And six more. I think that's pretty much all that I really need. The rest of these guys, I'm going to say half of you guys, just go home, have a good time, make sure that everyone's nice and good and appropriately communist, and then I'm going to convert these guys into uh, Coast Guard divisions, just because I can, do that, and throw you onto here. That should be pretty good. A lot of these guys actually need a lot more experience, holy cow. These guys are 20 width with a little bit of cavalry, not bad, not great, but you know, they're Coast Guard divisions, whatever. Whatever. Awesome. So, we finally have them under our control. 1,002 factories. And next up, I'm going to annex Iranians just because they've been under us almost since the beginning of the game. So, let's do this as well. Start Lend Lease. 228. Awesome. 116. Just so I can get rid of it for now. Uh, let's see. I'll give you a couple of these per month, let's say. 2,500. Yeah. And then a bunch of guns as well. We'll give you, like, 30,000. Cool. I ran your next on the list. Nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Actually, did they have any ships? They might have had some ships. Upper Baltic. Oh, they might have. No? Not yet. South America. Maybe they didn't have any ships. Hmm... Well, let's take a quick look this way. This might be a little easier. Subs. Three more subs. Throw you over here. Combine. Ooh, another medium tank. Nice. Actually, we'll probably upgrade. Ah, we can't really upgrade it. Our army XP isn't great. 1953 is the next year for better tanks. This is going very well. Ah, I'll get some more rubber because... Actually, we need more rubber. Wow. Let's do that. Any better ships? Any better planes? Ooh, Carrier Fighter 3. Go ahead and make some of those, since we're trying to make carriers, I believe. And then, semi-modern anti-air. Well, I don't think we need that at the moment. Go ahead and make two more military factories. Okay, make that three. Awesome. Airplanes, air bases, no. Oh, who are you? Medium bombers. Oh, this is the Nighthawk, which is... Night, night, night ladies. Which, ace pilot... Yevdokia which Barshanskaya. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you to Brazil. Nothing says scary women like throwing them at the Brazilians. Scary, scary witches. Awesome. Uh, Max Reiter. Yeah, I didn't think you have anything for me. Oh, we got more. Oh, more naval dockyards, but we could use a crap ton more steel. Hmm, steel, steel. Germany, who do I want to help? Who wants to help me? I don't want to get too much steel from one group, so I'll get two from them and one from East Germany. Do that. Extra division, go through you on the coasts. That sounds great. Extra dockyards. Well, let's see, what are we making? Right now we're making a couple destroyers, some super heavy battleships, another destroyer, subs, cruiser, 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 sub, sub, subs, heavy ship couple heavy ships. Uh, I don't want to make too many car- am I even making a carrier? No, because I don't have any things ready yet to make a carrier. I don't have enough naval XP, which sucks. Oh, battle cruisers. Actually, I'm making any 1944 battle cruisers? Oh, I'm making one. I have more immigrants. Uh, 1944. Holy shit. I think I could use maybe a few more subs, actually. I want to make a lot of subs. Because they're cheap. They're really- they're pretty good. No real problems with them. This is the best a sub we'll get. So let's make another sub. Nice. Convoy. Go to Osima. Or Turku or whatever. And do that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright. Oh. And if you couldn't tell, there was a certain sound that pinged. I don't think you can see it on screen. But someone just... No, not someone. But... Uh, apparently, I was just recommended a video by... YouTube to watch. Um, I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not sure what it. Oh, it says Hoi for Fur Reich, but uh, I don't exactly have a bunch of time. I'm gonna do other things than then play Hoi for and get better at Hoi for, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that at the moment, at least for now. 
you guys are doing a great job just melting those Brazilians, and those American divisions are kind of tanky. Not gonna lie. You guys start the attack, and then you guys come up to the butt. And the tank said, Bup. Oh! Okay, so they just capitulated. Nice. Alright, so give me all this. For now, I'm gonna take all states and then release them as a puppet elsewhere. Good. So actually, let's go ahead and release them. Look at all this occupation policy stuff. Ooh. Hmm. However, I will try to form one mega South American country, just so maybe reduce the lag. Maybe, maybe not. So, let's see. Kurdistan, Brazilian Socialist Republic. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. So you guys are all up here. And give me a moment. South America, we got some of our tanks down here. You, calm down here. I want you to border... Uruguay, because that's where we're going to strike next. And then I'll probably strike Bolivia, because that's right next to the United States. So, right now, you guys go ahead, come up here, and do this. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's ugly. That's all right. Nice. Then you guys come over here, take out the Canadians, which is actually mostly American. And then you guys come over here. Nice. That's actually really good. So, Brazil, you're back once again. Um, I really wish you could swap out your leader because you're Stalinist, but we're going to slowly... What the heck? Venezuela, come on. Because you're still Stalinist, but we'll make you more Trotskyist before we're done here. Nice. So, Brazil fell. That's great. That's awesome. Venezuela joined... Oh, uh, why? Alright, guys, just... Mosey on, mosey way, mosey on your way down there. Mosey your way. Oh, Peru's at war with us as well? Oh man, if I click the faction button, then, uh, oh, Peru's already taken out. But if I click the faction button, it'll go with a black screen for a few seconds for you guys, and I don't want to do that. Uh, go ahead and just take these guys out. Nice. Get rid of them. Finish these guys up. Do that, do that, do that. Be quick about it. I mean, we're on the fastest speed we can possibly be. Go ahead and make that a little better. Wow, we're producing a, or trying to rebuild a lot of things here. Do that, do that, do that. And make sure that the Romanians still continue to, to not rebel against us. We'll make some things there. And we want to annex the Iranians. So, let's help them out with some construction and infrastructure. Nice. Looks like the Italians are going to try to invade Labrador again. And we can go to war with... Uruguay. Uruguay. Very nice Uruguay. Even though we only have four divisions on the border, you guys are taking a while to get down there. Oh, what the heck? Do you see that? Well, apparently, Porto Alegre has just been nuked. I wonder who did that. Who do we know likes to use nukes? Besides me. Hmm. It is a very tough question. But I think it might have been the commies. The... Kami Americans. Very nice, though. Very good. Well, at least I didn't get nuked personally, so. There's always that. Construction repair, Mark three description. Great. Wow, Brazil, you got a lot of manpower. Um, That's good. Industry, looking very good. E.T. Never seen it. Ooh, more aluminum. Do I need more aluminum or something? Oh, actually, we can reduce this usage by one. That'll be good. No, I don't need more aluminum. I'm more than fine on an aluminum at the moment. So, let's go with modern winter clothing. Alright, so honestly, I don't think Uruguay is going to be that much of a challenge. They only have two divisions, so. And, wait for the lag. Thank you very much. Something tells me they probably won't be able to beat my Marines. Which will be great. Oh, and are we already over here? Looks like we are ready when you are. So, we're going to split these guys up a little bit more. Probably don't need to do Gulf of Guinea. Let's do African Coast and Iberian Coast. That would be great. Uh, ooh, something around my ear. Ow, cool. Uh, let's see. Alright, you guys hurrying up. Take these guys out. 
Uh, actually, no, it's you guys that have to do something about it. Are these tanks retreating? Yeah, I think they are. That's good. That's really good. Just go straight up through here. Alexander Gorbatov, no, nothing. It's fine. Ooh. A American light cruiser? A American destroyer? And then an American destroyer. Very cool. Oh, and the Germans are trying to invade, but they're not being extremely successful. And we lost a couple planes, we sunk an American destroyer, sunk two American destroyers, followed up by an American light cruiser, lost a plane, and sunk another American destroyer. How many ships does America have left? And there goes another American destroyer. Resistance suppression. They have 133 ships at max. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Go ahead and move in. Uh, you guys are done. Go ahead and stop the Venezuelan threat here. And, oh, oh, Uruguay, thank you very much for playing. Uh, I'll just annex them and then just do that. Great job, guys. Uh, since we're here, we might as well do Paraguay next, then. Since it's a fairly small nation that we our tanks should probably be able to take out. Oh, you're communist. Do you want to join me? No. They don't want to. Okay, then. It's either you join me or die. I mean, join the proletariat masses or die. Yeah, basically. Uh, for you guys, go ahead and add you guys here and take off two more divisions. So you don't sweat it out too much. Nice. Two American convoys. Oh, we landed over here. Great job, guys. Great job. Nice. It goes back to Portugal. Invade it when you can, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice. Very good, very good. A little bit more coffee here. Mmm, very good. Let's see. Some task forces are too far away from this region. I mean, as long as someone can make it over there, I don't really care. Yeah, I, I don't really care too much. Eh, let's get some more extraction, because that's always useful. And go ahead when you can. Whatever. Awesome. This part is a little disgusting as the allies are coming down through here. Is Ven Venezuela is at war with the United States because Venezuela is part of the Japanese faction because that makes a lot of sense. You know, we can't fight the, that tank division just yet. You guys are very slow. Actually, you're not even moving that way. Hmm. 1951. Sure. Looks good to me. Ooh, lower the autonomy of another puppet. I love it. I love it. All right, tanks, let's hurry up. Oh, I love rubber plant D. Love it. Sounds great. 1951, better tanks, better marines. Yeah, I have some better mountaineers, because why not? How many divisions does Paraguay have? They have up to 13. Uh, Tanks, where are you? Jeez Louise, guys, you are so slow. So slow. I know the Amazons are a pain in the butt to fight through, but come on, guys. You can do it. Awesome, we took this area back for our allies. So all of you guys, go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't want to delete these armies, but let's see what we can do about this. You three, doing a great job. Come here and invade... Ponta Delgada, Delgada, Delgada. So we don't need this anymore, but we do need this. Okay, Verdi Plane, awesome. Grab you, so I don't have to click on the wrong button. And the tanks are almost ready to go. Almost ready, almost ready. Oh, lost a plane, whatever. <clears throat> Very good. So once South America is done, I will go ahead and move my ships to Japan so we can invade Japan next. Because I don't want to forget about Japan because we invade the states through Alaska. Or partially attempt to invade the United States through Alaska. Probably not the entire way through, but at least partially. Oh, and you guys got god dang encircled. God dang it. You know what? Screw all this. You just need one massive front line, basically. That's basically what you're going to need. By the time 
all these divisions are up where they need to be. I'll have probably already justified on Colombia, or maybe uh, Bolivia. One of those two guys. And a little bit more lag, because nothing says hoi for like a bunch of lag. But it's honestly not that bad. It could be much, much worse. Could they actually pierce us? Oh, they can, actually, with these marines. That's unfortunate. Well, they can pierce some of my divisions, not all of them. Maybe some of them. All right. Oh, American Destroyer, American Convoy. Very good, very good. <clears throat> this is not going as well as I hoped. But, whatever. Let's see. Venezuela is almost gone, which is good. Paraguay's lost 4,000 men. Ah, but we're moving into Paraguay regardless. And there goes Venezuela. Taken out by Americans. Wow. Isn't that kind of weird to think about? Oh, Venezuela's been taken out by a bunch of Americans. What else is new? Cool. Oh, this is per those are Persian divisions? Ah, that's alright. No one cares about Persian divisions, right? Oh, more refineries. Great. How are the Amazons doing? Oh, we can't build them up. God dang it. Do that so that infrastructure is just slightly better. Here. Naval stuff? We're almost done with our naval stuff, actually. That's pretty good. Naval mine avoidance. That's actually probably okay to do as well. Nah, build up the infrastructure here, too. That'll be good. Yeah, infrastructure here, not very good. It is South America, so... What, what are you going to expect? Supplies? Do I need any supplies? We got lots and lots of guns. Ice pilot promoted. No, we're doing pretty well. Another tile taken. Might lose it. M might not lose it. Modern winter clothing. Good. Oh. American destroyer. A couple American ships. Another American ship. Great. Go ahead, guys. If you can and when you can. This is a kind of a problem. Hmm. Could you help, maybe? Yes, you could. Mm, I guess I have another research slot. I didn't realize. Cool. Uh, mm, drop tanks. More range sounds pretty good to me. Ooh, a Danish division. Huh, I haven't seen that in a very long time. Let's see. American destroyer sunk. An American convoy sunk. Lost probably a plane or two. Yep. Come on, guys. You can do something here, hopefully. Be just careful when you do whatever you need to do. Uh, I need you to come over here, guys. Help make sure these guys don't starve. If I have to, I will go through Bol Bolivia to get rid of these guys. Alright. It's just a little slow, the game is. So, it just takes a little bit of time for our guys to get to Asion. Pass, 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 pass. Take it out. Thank you very much. We're going to make some sort of South American juggernaut. So, Mark... Mark, transfer. Mark. Unfortunately, I will have to court so they don't liberate these areas, but whatever. It's not like we're gonna, not going to win in the end, so. Awesome. So, six planes shot down. A Chilean sub. Another Chilean sub. Another Chilean sub. Two more Chilean subs. And the port is not ours. We could not break into there. Which is kind of unfortunate. But I have a way of dealing with Americans. If you know what I mean. Let's see, what are we going to need? We're going to need one of our special boys. And by special boys, I'm talking about a heavy bomber, which actually is probably near the top of the list here. Just a single one, please. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a dead ace. That's unfortunate. Planes. Let's get over to this. Oh, we can't nu quite nuke them. We need air superiority. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Awesome. Uh, I'll do that. You know what? Switch these guys over to convoy rating. <clears throat> that might actually help us out a little bit more. A little bit of naval invasion support. That's pretty good. Very, very good. Alright. Cancelled lend lease. Whatever. And the tanks. They did a pretty good job, but they did reveal their weaknesses. It's good to keep in mind about weaknesses. Uh, I could probably take out Colombia next. 
They're very, very weak, which is good for us. Let's do that. Awesome. Speed it up a little bit just to make sure we get max speed going. And we've been sinking some Canadian ships, huh? Oh, lost a couple planes here and there, but whatever. Oh. Oh, we shot down quite a few enemy planes. Shot down 10 Canadian destroyers. A couple more planes, a couple more destroyers. Very nice. Go ahead and repair. You guys go ahead and repair as well. Just in case. Did we lose something here? A plane? Oh, that's not too bad then. Alright, when you are ready to go, thermonuclear experiments sound great. Go ahead and throw yourself on there when you can. And go when you can as well. So far, we've capitulated, what's it, two, three South American countries, which is awesome. Oh, we actually lost a destroyer, but in exchange for three destroyers, two light cruisers, and four convoys against a sizable enemy fleet. And we lost another, oh, an actual light cruiser, wow. Ah, very good, coffee's very good. Um, artillery, yeah, I'll do some anti-air, because why not? This part is going to be very, very much a pain in the butt. Very, very much. Yeah, these guys are going to get destroyed. Sorry, guys. Can't save you. You did really well, and then you're kind of punished for not winning. So, sorry. But not really sorry. Uh, let's see. If we build up some radar, that could help us. Maybe in the center of Brazil probably isn't the best idea, but whatever. Uh, oh, oh, the American Navy. Hello. Three light cruisers, a couple planes here and there. Lost a plane, lost a plane. Oh, they definitely have ships over here. Couldn't quite take it again. But in due time, we will. In due time. Nice. Go to war with Colombia next. More American ships have fallen. And it looks like our allies, the Italian Union, has invaded Canada somewhat successfully at the moment. They even might have taken a port. Yeah, they actually did. So to help them out, I'm going to go ahead and just put on a bunch of fortresses here. Put some radar. Put some naval base, air base, stuff like that. God dang it, stop switching to that. That'll be good. That'll be actually extremely, extremely good. Hopefully our guys will be able to stay there as I build up more and more things there. That'd be awesome. Oh, I didn't realize there's another island over here. Uh, You three. Come over here. Come from here and invade this stupid little island. Nice. Oh. All right, sunk a convoy. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, they, they really don't want to give up their little island here. Kind of a pain in the butt, honestly. Five things, two things, okay, and okay. Five convoys. Four ships, or I mean four planes, I mean. Eight ships, convoys, whatever you call them. All right, seriously, tanks, tanks, tanks. You're not doing a good job. I mean, I'm honestly a little disappointed in you guys because you're not moving very much at all. When I need you to go, I really need you to go, man. Uh, let's see. Before we end the episode, let's go ahead and throw on some more planes for these guys. That'd be good. And degaussing. Awesome. Do that and do that. Cool. Uh, we could probably go ahead and go to war with them. Let's open up things. Open up another layer for us to strike and insert ourselves. Just go straight for the La Paz if you can, because that would open up another front into American-held Colombia. I don't think you can do very much. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. But regardless, we sunk 11 ships there. Nice. Uh, that's pretty much all the time for we have today, guys. Well, what do we do? We capitulated a lot of enemy nations. We're losing quite a few sh planes to an American fleet. But we took out Brazil, liberated them. We took out Uruguay, liberated them. Bolivia joined the the enemy faction that America also doesn't like. We capitulated Paraguay as well, and next time we will capitulate Bolivia. Hopefully take out American help Peru and Northern South America and maybe Colombia and Argentina. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we will hopefully do very, very well in South America. Thanks for watching.